Hey, what's up, people? It's Innocent here, and welcome to today's episode. Now, the channel recently hit about 30,000 subscribers for the past days, and I've not been able to come here to say thank you. So, today being my birthday, I decided to come here to say thank you for all that you've done and to reintroduce myself to you guys. So, today we are looking at 25 more facts about me. I've already done a couple of these type of videos. I did a five fact about me when we got to 5,000 subscribers and I also did some assumptions about me. So today we are looking at 25 more facts about me. If this is your first time over here, my name is Innocent and I'm a freelance graphic designer and YouTuber. Now over, the, over here on this channel, we do Photoshop tutorials and tech videos. If that's something that sounds like you're interested, can you consider subscribing? Now let's jump into 25 facts about me. So fact number one about me, I've never broken a bone. Now I talked about this when I was discussing the freelance podcast with Steve Foland. You can check that video up here. I've never broken a bone, whether it be in accidents or any sort of, I've never broken a bone. I'm that person that always wants to be remembered for adding value. So whenever I meet someone, I really want to leave some kind of value. So value-based, I'm that value-based person that whoever I come in contact with, I want to see the value left. That is the most important thing on the table. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a doctor. So at the age of five, I wrote my future career and I wrote that I wanted to be a doctor. And when my grandpa saw it, he was so really interested and very happy. But things changes. So here I am. And you are seeing me on your screens today. I'm the eldest of three siblings and we are all boys and we have no girl. At the point in time, we had a meeting with our mother to give us a girl. And I think she's still considering and thinking about it. So I'm the eldest of three boys. So I'm not really a football fan, but my favorite team, my the team that I support is Chelsea. I don't know when I started supporting Chelsea, but since I was a kid, only team that I've really supported through the second team is Chelsea. And that said, a huge shout out to Abefa GH for sending this over for me to wear. And if you want quality jerseys like this, you can contact Abefa GH. He's in Ghana, Kumasi. You can contact him for all your jerseys and all the other things. Thanks, Abefa, for sending this beautiful jersey over. So, fun fact number six I've lived with my grandma for most of my life. She came for me when I was three years, and it's been more than 20 years. And she's actually the my favorite person. Nana, what's your mom called? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, innocent, gay, white thing. I'm going to subscribe. Aha, uh -huh. no one's day, I'm going to like. No one like it. We are Sunday special. We are Sunday special. So yeah, I've lived with my grandma for more than 20 years. When it comes to reading, I prefer reading e-books or electronic books as compared to hard copy books. Because when I'm reading hard copy books, I find it super lazy and I'll sleep within no minutes. But if I have my e-books or let's say an application or software, it makes it easier for me to read all that I want to read. Still on reading. Now, I love reading self-development books and any books that helps me to grow but when it comes to reading something like school books, I find it super lazy. Now my roommates back at the university will testify to this because when it comes to reading school books and all that, I find it super lazy and I will go to sleep in no time. But when it comes to staying up all night to read self-development books and finance books that will help me, I can read it out all day long. So I love music. I'm not going to lie about this. I really love music. I don't listen to music that much, but I love music and i love singing but the problem is i can't really sing because i don't have the voice to really sing but i do sing but when i i cannot continuously sing for five minutes because there are two things involved i'm either going to change the the key or i'm going to lose my voice so i love music and all that but i cannot really sing as i'm supposed to Still on music, when it comes to instruments that I can play, I can say that I'm an intermediate player when it comes to drumming. But with keyboard and any other instruments, I'm not really good at that. I'm now learning how to play the keyboard and it has been an interesting journey. So leave in the comment section if you want, if you have any tips on how to play the keyboard way better because I'm really struggling at this point. 
So I'm still learning how to play the keyboard and it's it's been a fun journey so far. And about the things that I love, I love languages. I really wish I could speak literally every language that is on earth here. But the problem is I can speak fluently only two languages. That is the Akan Asante language, that is Akan, and then the English language. For all the other languages, I will say that it is between a 1% and about a 5% sort of. So that is it about languages. Okay, so I can type up to 100 words per minute when I'm typing from my head. But then if I'm looking at something and then I'm typing, my typing speed reduces drastically. And I, I don't know why if I'm the only one in this ship. Let me know in the comment section if you have the same issue with this thing. So this is a fun fact. I don't know how to swim. Now I've I've been in the pool a couple of times, I've been in the sea a couple of times, but I can't swim. I can't even swim to save my life. <laughs> so yeah, that is number 13. I can't really swim. I can easily flow with any circumstance. For instance, when I come to your place and then you are in a very bright mood. I can easily flow with that circumstance and if you are in a very dark mood or let's say you are not in that right mood, I can also flow with that. So I easily, I'm that type of person that easily flows with circumstance, especially if I really want to do that. So I had my first laptop when I was 19 and this was when I completed SHS and I had to work for like a one year and accumulate that money to buy some weird laptop and looking back to where I was and where I am now I think that there is something called grace because my little cousin is currently 11 years and he knows his way around laptop he has a laptop and that is crazy and that said I officially started designing I already started learning design from about 15 years but then I officially started designing when I was 18 and that was when I completed my SHS and I came home. That was the time that I really started learning, really learning Photoshop and really putting all those things into practice. I don't know if this is something like a bad thing to do but I always feel guilty when I'm not able to help. Like you ask me for me to assist you in doing something and I'm not able to help or I don't find the time to help you. I always feel guilty about that. Am I the only one in this kind of situation? This is also very funny. Every single low grade that I've ever had in my academics had something to do with math. So that literally means that I'm not really good at math. So every grade, if you look at my resource slip, every grade that has something that has to do with something lower, it is related to mass. Now, I recently learned how to drive and I'm super pumped about this thing and I really want to put the car on the main road. I've actually been driving on the parks and around areas, but I've never been on the main road. So I'm really looking forward to going on the main road and testing my driving skills on there. My average sleeping hours is for the past five years or five or six years since 2017 my average sleeping hours has been four hours and this has been always crazy because people think that I'm always going to fall sick but the fun fact is that if I sleep more than six hours I either get too tired that I'm not able to do anything or I'm going to get sick I was the kid that would be found at every single gaming center in my days because I literally was a gamer and I'll basically go to every single game center in the town if you are if you are looking for me and you won't find me come to a game center and I'll be there I remember that I got really beaten for being at a game center at 12 a.m. in the morning and the following 6 a.m. I was still at the game center Weird. still on games I've always believed in investing in anything that you want to get good at so when I was a kid I would basically save during my school days every money that would be given to me. I would save some of them and accumulate all of that. The day that we vacate, I would take that money to the game center and I'm going to play with the one that knows how to play more than I do. Now, I'll basically do this continuously until I am able to beat the person that knows how to play better than I do. So I work best under pressure, okay? And this is something that I'm really trying to stop out to do 
because of this i really procrastinate a lot because when there is a lot of pressure on me i'm able to work faster think faster and do everything faster i think this resonates well with one of my favorite quotes that if you are giving six hours to cut down a tree i just use four hours to sharpen your soul and then use the rest of hours to cut the tree but that sometimes also makes me so very easy although i'm a designer i'm a graphic artist but i really suck at drawing i cannot really even draw to save up my life i don't know how to draw honestly and the last on the list 25 is that i'm not an introvert but i love being myself anytime there are a lot of people around me i feel like i'm not being myself i love being in the room all by myself if you are too many over there it's kind of feels like i'm not that doesn't mean that i don't really love people around me but i love being myself when i'm alone it feels like a different level all by itself now because you made it up to this point i'm going to add five more facts about me that will make it 30 and that is going to celebrate the 30 subscribers that we got but first of all thank you for making up to this point now the five bonus facts about me number one is i know how to cook you know i stayed with my grandma so i basically know how to cook except when i'm being so lazy number two i've never taken alcohol ever i've never taken anything alcohol before number three i got a job three days after i wrote my final exams in the in shs so when i came back from home it was friday the following monday i started work at a printing press so i stayed at home for three days after my wasi examination one thing on my bucket list this year is to travel outside of ghana this year the passport is not going to remain empty so you can send me an invitation i'll be glad to honor that invitation and lastly i want to say that i'm very grateful to each and every single person that i meet anytime whenever i meet someone i try as much as possible to leave value and to learn something from that person and i'm always grateful to each person that i meet the lessons that i learn all the things that happens with every single person that i come across is an amazing thing and i'm so grateful for you too for being here for subscribing for liking and for holding me down all these years thank you so much for being part of this journey i hope this 25 facts about me helped you to know a little bit about me if there is anything that you want further clarification i'll be in the comment section to answer all your questions thank you so very much for sticking around to watch and please don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video probably a tutorial or a creative chat or a tech video thank you and i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye